It's your boy Streets One and No TV back with another one. All right. So this Donald Trump thing, and I'm just gonna say what I feel. Some of y'all might not like it. Really, I don't care. These are my thoughts and my opinions. For these people to take a shot at Donald Trump like that, America's in trouble. America is in trouble. Um, I just feel like, why do they keep messing with this man? Like, why do they keep bothering this man? Why are they trying to stop him from getting in the office? My opinion, I'm just gonna tell you, I like Trump. It is what it is. Yeah, and I'm black. And I like Trump. I feel like he's better fit for the job than Joe Biden. We see what Joe Biden's doing to America. But you guys, y'all let the celebrities get y'all and made y'all go vote for that. See what he's turned America into? It's not looking good. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Can't even talk straight. Can't stand up. Damn near can't even walk. And it's the man y'all want to remain in their office. Because the celebrities told y'all to go vote for him. He said, vote for me. You're not black if you don't vote for me. And y'all motherfuckers went out there and fell for that shit. I don't care y'all get mad at me. It don't matter. These are just my opinions. And y'all gotta value my opinions like I value y'all opinions. Y'all can leave y'all comments in the box, but these are my opinions. The economy was great when Trump was in office. Money was plentiful. Everybody was happy. People were starting businesses. Everything was looking great. Everything was going smooth. Y'all get him out of there. Why? Still don't know. Feds raided, raided his home. I don't know if they ever found anything. I'm pretty sure they came up with something, but I'm just saying. Y'all gave this my 34 charges. 34 felony charges. And he's still not in jail. So what that tells me is y'all messing with this man because y'all don't want him to run the United States of America. For whatever reason, I know the reason. I feel like I know the reason because I know the direction that they want America to go. And I just feel like Trump ain't going for that bullshit. Again, these are my opinions. 
I have a right to my opinion. Y'all hit him with all these felonies. Y'all slander his name. Oh, he's a racist this, racist that. Now everybody know Donald Trump kick it with black folks. He been kicking it with black folks since the beginning of the time. I don't know what y'all new niggas think like this is. How do y'all not know that? You could go back and look at all the celeb the black celebrities dudes used to kick it with all the time. But as soon as he get to running for president, oh, he's racist. He don't mess with black folks. He said this, he said that. Guess what? For all the people in the back, all the presidents been racist. What's the difference? Trump been kicking it with black people. So I don't know what y'all thought this was. Dude been kicking it with black folks. You can go back to the beginning of time. Trump been kicking it with his feet up with Puffy, all these niggas. And as soon as he get ready to run for president, they turn their back on him. So that should let you know when everybody's telling you to go this way, you need to be going this way. See, I always been the eyeball, right? I never fought the crowd. I always been me. Whatever they say do, I do the opposite. So, anyway, like I said, they keep bothering this man. And y'all keep falling for the okie doke. I'm not telling y'all who to vote for, because I just feel like our votes don't matter anyway. They go put who they want to put in. But what I'm saying is, Trump ain't what y'all think he is. I'm just saying. I ain't saying he perfect. Hell, I don't know what he gonna do when he get in office. But it's gotta be better than what Joe Biden been doing. That's just my opinion. Just stop falling for the okie doke. Stop doing whatever these people tell y'all to do. Have an open mind and think for yourself, like. Everybody told y'all to vote for Joe Biden. Y'all did. Now, y'all gonna take accountability for what he's done to America? No, y'all not. I'll wait on that. But y'all still wanna downplay Trump. Like, I don't get it. No, he's not the normal politician here. He's not a politician at all. The man is a businessman. He know how to get money. I'm just saying. Well, he got a whole lot of businesses closed. Uh, went bankrupt. Okay. A lot of motherfuckers that went bankrupt. The best of them. So that don't mean you don't know how to run business. So, stop that. But what I'm saying is, he's not a politician. He's just like you and me. He just wants the, 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 the greater good for America. He said make America great again. Y'all motherfuckers took it as, oh, he's talking about the Klan and the races, bring back all that. Y'all got to be, like, what is wrong with y'all? What I got out of it when he said make America great again, you got all these immigrants coming over here, right? No disrespect to the immigrants. I love them. I'm very multicultural. I love them all. All he was saying is, Y'all not finna come to America and think y'all finna take American jobs and y'all ain't got green cards or legitimized documents to say that y'all can even be over here. He said build a wall. That's all he said. You niggas went and took that all, all left field. He's racist this, he's racist that. No, he's not. He actually makes motherfucking sense. Because guess what? If I take my black ass over to China or... Thailand or wherever the hell I want to go, guess what? I got to have legal fucking documents to get my ass over there, right? I got to have visas to work, don't I? So what's the fucking difference is him telling them, y'all ain't finna work when y'all come over here. Build a wall, because I'm tired of all these motherfuckers crossing the border. Y'all mad about that? I just don't understand. Come on now. We got to come on now. Y'all gotta get this shit together. 
because the minute they keep swirling y'all around this shit, telling y'all what to do and y'all do it, man, the worst we all we gonna be. You gotta start thinking for yourself. You gotta start thinking different. Don't do what they tell you to do. Do the opposite. I'm just saying. I ain't even talking about them, them vaccines. I ain't for the going to that. Cause y'all went and done that too. Then they talking about this the dude that did the shooting right here. This guy. <laughs> What's his name? Thomas and Matthew Crooks. It always be three names, don't it? Just saying. Y'all saying, oh, everything's staged. He staged this. Who the hell was staged to get their fucking head blew off? Man, two inches to the left or to the right, man. That man would that, that shooter would have blew that man head off. And y'all think he set that up? Something got to be wrong with y'all. Like, y'all bucking. Y'all really bucking. It's just my opinion. I'm not saying stuff don't happen. I'm just saying. I know they can put out all the stuff to make stuff happen. But if you want me to believe, I'm going to let somebody take a shot at me for a publicity stunt just so I can win a presidency. He's going to win anyway. So why would he need to do that? He's going to win. Because America fed up. They want to see something different. We've been going through the same cycle for years. People won't change. He's going to win. Anyway, so why would he have to do a publicity stunt like that? Don't make sense. It don't make sense. But anyway, this is just my opinion on it. I got a lot more to say on it that I can't think right now. It's too much going on right now. I got a lot of videos I got to put out. It's so much stuff going on in the world right now. It's so much stuff going on in Memphis right now. My God. It's just too much going on. My head feel like it's about to explode because it's so much stuff going on. But man, I just want y'all to keep y'all mind open. There is a reason they don't want this man in office. Just remember that. Why? That's the question you need to be asking yourself. Why do they keep bothering this man? Why is they giving him the nigga treatment? Ask yourself that. But anyway, it's your boy Streets Want to Know TV, man. I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Please leave y'all comments, cause I want to know. I want to hear what y'all gotta say. I don't care if y'all jump down my throat. I I value y'all opinions. You know what I'm saying? And if I get enough comments and opinions, I'll do another video. Cause like I said, it's a lot more I want to say that I didn't put in this video. Like it gets deep. How deep down the rabbit hole y'all want to go? Yeah, I'm about that. I'm about that. But, uh, man, say a prayer for Trump. Say a prayer for America. Say a prayer for your family tonight. Say a prayer for you. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna need prayer because we going through dangerous times. They tried to take this man out in broad daylight, just like they did JFK. America is changing right before our eyes. And you know what y'all doing? This is how y'all doing. Caught up in these right here. Caught up in these right here. I ain't even paying attention to what's going on. They passing law after law after law. Joe just sign them and let them go. Law after law. A lot of bullshit laws is gonna hurt us. So I'm just saying, there's a reason they don't want Trump in office. And there's a reason they want Joe Biden to stay in office. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want nobody like that represent my country. He's unfit to do it. He's old. Both of them old, but I'm just saying he's not even functional. There's no way he should be running the country right now. Come on now. Am I tripping? 
I don't think I'm tripping. I don't think I'm tripping. But anyway, man, it's your boy Streets Wanna Know TV. I'm out.